Hello everybody. First we will take a short overview of this FlySky FSI ATX micro receiver and then we will look how to bind it. So it's the smallest FlySky receiver up to date as I know it. I mean uh, original manufactured by FlySky. It weighs uh, just uh, just 1 gram. This micro receiver works in uh, second generation AFHDS 2A protocol, so it uh, it can work only with Flysky transmitters that support this protocol, and of course it has ground plus five IBUS and a PPM. It's marked P PPM pad. So if you have only a PPM input, so you can solder a wire to PPM output. By default, it has three wires and uh, wired to IBUS. This receiver has simple wire antenna. It's a silicon wire. Somehow it's uh, heat shrinked in the transparent heat shrink. Uh, it's 30 millimeter size, simple antenna. Of course, you can replace it with a better antenna to improve the range, or also you can remove this heat shrink to uh, to lose some weight. This receiver uh, actually transmits telemetry back to the transmitter, uh, so you can have a RSSI reading on your transmitter. Of course, there is a Possibility to redirect this RSSI to the chan to one one of the transmitting channels, so you can uh, receive the RSSI through one of the channel back to the receiver. Uh, and also there is an alternative firmware to this receiver, but it's a separate topic, a separate video. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Now let's go to the binding. I have connected this receiver to the flight controller and you can immediately notice that this receiver does not have any bind button. So this receiver has auto binding option. It means when it powers on it checks for the transmitter signal if it doesn't detect any transmitter's signal, it goes into auto binding function. Now let's connect the battery. And the receiver starts blinking. It means it's in binding mode. Now, if we go to the menu and select BIND, the LED stops, uh, stops blinking, it lights on, it means that uh, the receiver is bound. Now, as I have said, this receiver has uh, telemetry. Let's go. To the telemetry screen. Here you can see telemetry readings that this transmitter uh, receives. If we power the receiver before the transmitter uh, is powered, then this receiver will always go into auto bind option. So let's test. Imagine our transmitter is turned off and we are powering a quadcopter or receiver on and it checks the signal and automatically goes into a binding option. If we turn Transmitter on. It is still in binding mode. 
So you always need to power your transmitter first, then receiver. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.